I developed that phrase, I begin by not photographing, because it just described something that I really do. So if I, if I see something on the street, let's say, I don't photograph it. So I could be looking and hunting for things, but I just don't photograph them. It's only a small difference, really. The actual event disappears as a photograph. It vanishes as a potential photograph. It doesn't happen. But it doesn't disappear because I'm the photographer. So therefore, what I do with it is still photography. It's part of my process. And so I do remember it. And then you just deal with what memory is all about. The tattoos and shadows came from something I saw right near my house. I was, it was a summer afternoon, walking along, I don't know where I was going. Next street over, three or four young people covered with tattoos, sitting under a tree with the light flickering through the leaves, just like you see in the picture. There's just something really beautiful about that combination of the fixed inking, you know, the skin that's never going to go away. Um, and then this other pattern, these two patterns laid on, this, on, the, on these people's arms. And it was just so photographic, such a beautiful subject, I immediately thought, that's really good. Um, and so probably it was the next summer by the time I got around to doing it. And I just rebuilt it, just as I'd said before, with uh, three people. I think there might have been four in the original, and it seemed too many. I, I found another tree, because the place where I photographed it wasn't pictorially as interesting as I thought I might be able to achieve. So that's an example of the freedom that I think you need to have. But I didn't take many liberties, in other words. It was a yard with a tree, almost the same situation, but just I liked that tree better and so on. So it came from that real moment and a kind of inspiration from that of just being convinced that that was a beautiful subject. So the reconstruction is a transformation that leads to something faithful.